Welcome to Crash Magic. In this video we're going to try a fun interactive trick. Once we begin I'm going to select a number that you couldn't possibly know and you're going to select a number that I'm never going to know. But somehow with a bit of mathematical magic you're going to work out my number. There's a small amount of easy maths to do as well as remembering your number so it might be worth getting a pen and paper. And now let's get into the magic. This isn't a card trick at all, but I'm going to be using this pack of cards to select a random number for myself. This is an ordinary deck, it's not been set up in any way, and if you were here you could shuffle these cards. And I want to select a number from 1 to 9, so I'll select any card. If the card I select is a 10 or a picture card, I'll show you the card and I'll choose another card. But if it's an ace, so that's a 1, all the way up to 9, that will be my number. Now, I truly could just pick a number from 1 to 9 without using cards at all, but I want you to see that my choice is absolutely random and could be any number. Okay, I will choose this one, and it's a 10, so that's no good, so we'll discard that. Let's pick another one, let's go for this one. Ah, okay, so this is a number from 1 to 9, so this will be my number, this will be my card. I'm going to keep it hidden from you, face down, but it will be in full view for the whole trick. So we can get rid of this card and discard the rest of the pack at this point. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to pick any number from 1 all the way through to 9. Once you've chosen, make sure you remember this number, and if you've got a pen and paper, write that number down. OK, so have you got your number from 1 to 9? I'm going to ask you to do a few simple sums now, but you still need to remember your original choice as well. OK, I'd like you to multiply your number by 5. Now, add 5 to your total. Next, multiply your total by 2. And finally, I want you to subtract 9 from your number. OK, so you should now have a total. And this should be a two-digit number. And incredibly, one of the digits of your total should be the same as the number that you originally chose. But now I want you to concentrate on the other digit of your total. Remember, you could have chosen any number, and I still have no idea what your number is. Also, my number was chosen randomly at the very start. So, what is the other digit of your total? I, of course, have no idea if this is, if this is going to have worked, but is the other digit of your total a 1? Well, that is the end of this video. If you did manage to successfully match my number, please give the video a like and let me know in the comments. See you soon.